Hey, what's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today we're going to cook up a sample and then use a free plugin to make it sound more authentic. What I mean by more authentic is we can make that sample sound like it actually came off of a record, but that I'm going to reveal at the end of this video. The first thing we're going to do is cook up a nice sample using maybe three layers. I'm using Alchemy for this, so uh, if you haven't already, go and download it. It comes free with Logic. Uh, just make sure to download all available sounds. If you need any help with that, I'll put a link in the description uh, that explains how to download all available sounds. Just a heads up, it's a lot of sounds, like 14 gigs, so um, you know, make sure you have enough room on your computer. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, cook up a sample here. I got my BPM set to 130, and uh, well, I don't know, let's uh, see if we can... Just gonna do a quick melody here. And what we'll do is loop that. And some of these could be uh, quantized maybe. Not all of them. Little, little chaos is always okay. But let's go ahead and just EQ that sound a little bit. Create some space. Maybe some chords underneath. Something like that. move this over and then copy these over okay we need one more sound maybe something like a somewhat of a piercing bell something on the high end of the frequency spectrum That can work. That's a good sound maybe to use, so let's go ahead and see if we can add something using that. So I'm just going to copy and paste that over. Like opening up all my EQs now and seeing what spaces are occupied so that we don't have any clashing going on. And then I'm going to show you guys that plugin to make this sound even more authentic in terms of having a sample that sounds like it comes off of straight vinyl. That sounds pretty dope. I'm going to select all three of these and then say bounce in place. The parameters I use, uh, the normalize I turn off. I usually include the audio uh, tail in the file and include volume and pan information. There really is no volume and pan information because we didn't really, I mean, we mixed it a little bit in terms of loudness, but uh, nothing in terms of panning. So whatever, we'll just click OK. All right. And there we have it. We just created our own sample. I'll solo this out now. This is all three sounds combined. And this is usually the process when I uh, create sample packs for you guys. You know, um, I come up with these ideas and then bounce them out and manipulate them a little more. Okay, now to the free VST effect that uh, all you guys should definitely know about. 
Uh, it's called Isotope Vinyl, and uh, it's absolutely free. I put a link in the description for it. It's extremely powerful. Make your sample sound like it straight came from vinyl. It's super sick. So uh, we'll go through all the parameters now and show you guys what this uh, thing can do. Um, let me loop that out, and what we'll do is uh, work with the mechanical noise first. So I'm going to up that a bit. If I were to up it all the way, you could tell it sounds like a little bit of dust almost. I don't want to add a lot. Subtlety is good with this. This is the wear, how much the vinyl is worn, you know, or worn off. So you can leave a little bit of that. This one I'm not really a fan of, but this is like electrical noise, like it sounds like, you know, cables are crossing. Kind of sick. Anyway, uh, the next one up here is dust. I pause the sample as you notice because sometimes I notice there's some uh, extreme peaking that happens, but you know, hey, it's a free plugin, so don't please don't complain. I mean, come on, guys. Um, all right, so we got uh, this dust, um, you know, knob and. Uh, uh, slider so that we can add dust to the uh, record. There's also a scratch. I don't really like this one at all because it puts these deep cuts into your sound. But, uh, you know, just to show you what it does. It does stuff like that. It's not really helpful. So uh, I usually leave that one off. And then now this is like the, uh, you know, the holy grail of the entire plugin is the warp depth. And uh, when I turn this on, it will uh, sound like it's, uh, you know, a little bit detuned, uh, but it still keeps everything in key, so super sick. And you hear that in a lot of records nowadays, you know, that detuned feel, so you can definitely achieve that with this warp effect. And then you can actually uh, mess around with the warp a little more. They have these different warp models down here. So let me uh, select this one and see what it sounds like. It's almost like the uh, the warp happens at the beginning of the sample. Check out the other one, same thing, just a different warp. It's almost pitched up, then down a little bit. This is like a continuous warp. All the way around. I sort of like this one here. You know, you can go 100% if you want, really make that thing sound detuned, but I usually keep it anywhere between like 50 and 80. And they got a spin down feature right here, so you can make it sound like the vinyl stopping. <clears throat> Over here, uh, you have the year. Uh, so right now it's set to 2000. Uh, let's go back to 1930, see what that sounds like. 1950. 1960, 70, 80, 2000. So it's almost like it's taking off a little bit of the low end, uh, you know, the, the further you go back in time. Um, you know, I guess like those old monograph, uh, you know, vinyl players, you sounded sort of like this, and uh, that's what they're trying to emulate. Last feature here is the RPM. Uh, you can change the RPM of the record. That means routes per minute. So uh, let's see what happens when we uh, press this to 78. You can go from stereo to mono even. See what it sounds like without it and with it through the bypass. And voila, you have a, a sample that you can now, you know, either put in a sample pack that you want to, um, you know, give to your fan base or, uh, you know, you want to create sample packs for yourself. I do this a lot, too. I, I create sample packs for myself and then go back to them later and create beats out of them, you know, because hip hop, trap, whatever you want to call it. It's a sample based culture. Creating your own samples 
uh, is a great way of avoiding any, you know, copyright strikes or whatever. Um, you know, and the more you do it, the better you get at it, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content today. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and taking the time out. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you guys are aware when I upload new content. If you guys need some sounds, go check out Frequency.com. Also, a link in the description for that. My name's CJ, and I'm out for now. Peace. Thank you.